Hello. This video shows the creation of a stock take card within Datalink's Warehouse Manager 200, which is embedded into the Sage 200 system. Datalink's dynamic stock taking enables a full count of a live warehouse without closing the business. This changes the way Sage 200 carries out a stock take. The Datalink screens within Sage allow the stock take card to be created. Once the counts have been done, these screens are used to make adjustments arrange recounts and post details into Sage. To create the card, select New Card. This allows the user to choose a warehouse. You can then choose the type of count, for example, a range of bins, products or product groups. For this video, I've selected a small selection of products. Warehouse Manager 200 keeps a full audit trail throughout this process from both the handheld and the computer. This can be done for a range of dates or actions. This has created a new stock take card. These can be created in advance as they only appear on the handheld once they have been unlocked. On the handheld, select the same warehouse, then stock control and stock take. This displays the unlock cards for the user. I will select the card I've just created. It is not until the user has reached the first bin that the snapshot is taken of this location, which means it is only held for a very short period of time. This means each bin is only frozen for the time it is actually being counted. Once the user has scanned the bin and the quantity has been entered, the bin is released. The user will then scan the products. As this is a blind count, the user will not know how many products to expect in this location. They just need to count how many are physically there. The handheld now shows these products in this location have been counted. By pressing previous, this shows the user the other locations the products can be found. And repeat the process in bin sequence for the rest of the card. This next bin has products with different batch numbers and these will be captured along with any other attributes. This ensures you know how many of each batch are in that location. Once this bin has been counted, return to the previous screen and count the final bins. Once all bins have been completed, close the card. This will remove it from the handheld. Back on the computer, the card will say it's been completed and the audit will show all the actions carried out from creating the card to closing the bins. This will then show the numbers counted and the number expected. To review the values, click Enter Values which shows the variances. You can then decide if there are any lines which you'd like recounted. You can see this product has batches, and you can see the counts for each batch and override them if necessary. The same for the overall counts. The quantities can be manually overridden if you wish, before they are posted into Sage. Finally, post the card once you are happy with it, by pressing Yes. This updates the stock history, stock values and the nominal ledger postings. Datalinks has its own nominal ledger category from adjustments which have come out of this. Thank you for watching. If you'd like more information or a live demonstration, contact Datalinks.